Hi, my name is John Wishart. I am a decommissioning field tech working at Canadian Nuclear Laboratories in Chalk River. The role of a field tech is to support decommissioning activities by developing, procuring, implementing, and operating specialized equipment in the field, including but not limited to robotics, lasers, 3D printers and scanners, concrete remediation equipment, or custom tooling built by our team or other teams on site. It is also our role to act as a subject matter expert on said equipment during the planning stages of work. My day begins with a pre-job brief at the work location. Once at the job site, I sign on to the work permit and help conduct the pre-job brief as we go over the scope of work in detail and discuss any hazards or critical work steps. This is also a good time to inspect my respirator for any defects. With the help of radiation protection staff, I then get fully dressed into anti-contamination coveralls, boot covers, rubber gloves, and a respirator. I will be entering a temporary ventilated enclosure to access the building 204 Bowser room and conduct 3D scans to capture the current state of the room. Last July, my team and I completed the removal of all of the systems and components from the Bowser room using one of our Brock demolition robots. Field techs are responsible for operating CNL's fleet of Brock robots, which are used to achieve tasks that would result in high doses if workers were to complete them manually. We are able to operate the Brocks remotely in a safe location by installing cameras inside the work area. We've even used a 360 degree camera with a virtual reality headset to view Brock work, but that capability is still being developed. Once I'm done my entry, I hit the shower and it's time for lunch. When there is no radioactive work going on, I still have plenty of tasks to keep myself busy. As one of the SMEs on the Brock, it's my job to review work plans for feasibility and to give any comments I deem necessary, sometimes that requires calling a meeting on Teams. I also have to order supplies and equipment on a regular basis, which get shipped to the Building 610 tool group. Once my orders arrive, I go down to inspect the products and organize transportation to where it needs to go. The biggest job I am supporting right now is in the Building 204 A bays. A two-part spray adhesive polyurea called M25 was used to coat the walls and floors of the old rod bays in order to lock down contamination. We used a brock on this job to hold the M25 sprayer. A dedicated team inside Building 204 set the M25 parameters and monitored system pressures while a second team operated the brock and triggered the sprayer remotely from the control center. My days can be challenging when things do not go according to plan, but the payoff is well worth it. Thanks for joining me on a day in my life as a field tech.